pretty much all PC gamers have unplayed games in their library. Whether you got it for a humble bundle or it was 79 cents on a Steam sale and you're like, why wouldn't I get it? And I'm no exception to that. So welcome to the first episode of Game Vault. This is a series where I'm going to be looking at various games in my Steam and Epic library that I haven't played and trust me, there's a lot of them. And just giving a quick rundown on them, if I like them, the rating, all that. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Stable Orbit. Stable Orbit is a game about space stations and, well, keeping a stable orbit. You have to manage all these different things like your water level, oxygen, um, you need to make sure your crew aren't over, uh, or overly tired, you need to make sure you have quarters, you need to make sure they have good food, trash recycling, just all these different things that you have to manage as well as station keeping and making sure you have the right altitude. You start off with a core module and then you can build off of that. You can buy research labs and hydroponic nodes and your goal is to do science and make a lot of money. Right now in my personal world I have about a trillion dollars and this is my space station. It is called the Endeavor Space Station named after Space Shuttle Endeavor and Crew Dragon Endeavor. And it's it's huge. It's got about 80, 80-ish 80 people. The only thing I will say about this game is that after you are making more money than you can spend, it gets a little boring, but it still has that aspect of, okay, I wanna expand. I, I use, Like if you're playing in survival mode or basically just the regular mode, you still have to worry about water, oxygen, electricity. But you know, once you've got these huge solar arrays, a bunch of water tanks and a bunch of oxygen tanks, then you're pretty much good. The only thing I don't like is how you have to replace the water tanks every so often. But I mean, if you build enough, then you will have to replace them maybe once a year. And um, funny story, I was actually, when, when I first started playing this game for this video, uh, I actually killed one of my uh, crew members, well, the only crew member on there, because we were getting low on oxygen. I didn't have an oxygen generator because I didn't know. I didn't. Even, I just skipped the tutorial. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I was thinking, oh, I'll just uh, get rid of the tanks and then make some new ones. Um, no, he's dead. He, he died. Rip to him. But uh, yeah, that was a, yeah, this is a pretty cool game overall. I would say in my eyes, it's around a six out of 10. After, like I said, after you, you can play for a few days and then it kind of gets a little stale. But it's really fun just to have your own space station to manage. It's kind of like uh, one of those like uh, pet things that you have, like the Tomagotchi or whatever. It's like you always got to constantly take care of it. You know what would be a really cool idea for this game would be like a mobile app tie-in. So like you get a notification if like it's just always on your space station's always running in real time. But let's say uh, an, an RCS module explodes or an oxygen tank explodes or gets hit by space debris or something like that. You get a notification on your phone and then you can like, oh, I need to go check this out. I need to go fix this. I think that'd be a really cool tie-in for the developers. But I guess this game still is technically in beta. I mean, it's getting updated all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting to see what they come out with next. It's a really cool game. I think you guys should definitely check it out. It's about $20 on Steam. I think I got it on a Steam sale a while ago, but it's uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this new series of me reviewing unplayed Steam and Epic games. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.